if you have good design practices, if you have good design, you are going to be at a competitive advantage. Mm-hmm. And in the what has happened in the last, say, five years is um, that companies have started to realize that behind good design is good research. One of the things that I, I like to say um, is, you, you know, your your design can never be better than your research because the design always builds on top of the research, right? And so now that you know companies have realized that good design is important, they are starting to realize that good research is important. And I was talking to someone who's in the head of innovation at one of these very large consumer goods uh, company, and one of the things we were talking about is you know the best way to kind of see the design evolve or, or the impact of design on our current culture mm. um, is to look at unboxing videos yeah. on YouTube. Yeah. Right? Like every single product has, you know, that has any traction has hundreds, thousands, some like tens of thousands of these unboxing yeah. videos yeah. because this idea of first experience yeah. is, you know, is, 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 is becoming kind of the center um, to to our are experiencing any kind of product that we interact with, um, so uh, so so the, the the future of of design is bright, yeah. and the future of of research is even brighter yeah. uh, with uh, with 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 uh, you know, what we are seeing today. So, so the role of researcher has started to kind of evolve from. Um, I'm going to do kind of all of my own research yeah. to, hey, I am going to help other people do better research. Um, you know, I'm going to help. You know, design school, one of the first classes that you take in any design school um, is uh, research, research classes, right? Like you go and like, you know, call research. I, I put call and quant research classes um, when I was in, in, in grad school my brother who went to uh, also into design school took mm-hmm. you know ton of classes on you know right. research and um, so so you know we are trained to be like very rigorous in our approach um, as uh, as designers we kind of somehow uh, um, it still somehow doesn't feel as like, like a core part of our job and, th- and that's rapidly evolving. Mm-hmm. And I think what has ha- happened is researchers are now expected to help designers and then product managers and whoever you know, whoever is involved in the research to be, um, you know, to uh, to kind of oh you're going to do research because that's part of your job. You're going to be involved in in and every good designer is going to talk to people. Every good product manager is going to talk to people. How can we empower you? to do research in a much more rigorous way. One of the best teams that I work with, um, they have a research roadmap that's a quarter ahead of the product room. Right. Okay. Yeah. So what, what they would do, a core part of the research team is to look at the product roadmap or, or talk to the product team and, and basically say, okay, here is the thing that's going to come into the product roadmap, um, you know, um, that, that's going to go into the product roadmap. Let me go, let me go and do like those strategic. Let me pick out that strategic project that we know yeah. are going to require some rigorous research, and our team is going to own that that strategic piece, yeah. right? So they would actually they don't do reactive research. They don't do like oh my research my design team is asking me can you go. To, that's almost you know never. That's that's not a primary job. Their primary job is to seek out these strategic projects and go be involved. Yeah. Okay. And then the other part of their job is to have, um, to basically uh, build the operations piece, build the uh, structure, tr- build, the, build the, um, the documentation to help the rest of the teams, um, the product team and the design team, to be able to conduct their own research. Yeah. yeah, you can't you can't outsource you can't outsource empathy. <laughs> um, yeah. So, Good. yep, absolutely.